Hello everybody and welcome to Aka Ayakashi Akashi. Now, let's begin, shall we? Oh, thank God. Auto save. There are beings known as Ayakashi. They cause peculiar phenomena and at times inflict harm. As consequence, they have long been seen as fearful beings. One could interpret their name as the sharing dead. But they merely seek. Seek the things they couldn't have in the places they once were. They simply want to share in those same blessings. Ooh. This must be my punishment. In which case, there's only one thing to do. Whoa now. Whoa now. Whoa now. Let's not get too carried away, okay? Ah! Yoinara. <sighs> this is some rain. I did think it was sweltering earlier. Flashed my head and looked up at the sky. As if the good were, weather earlier were a dream. Large drops poured from the heavens and struck against the ground unceasingly. Oh? Oh? Hmm? Mr. Yoinara, whatever could you be doing out here? Well, what does it look like? I'm on my smoke break. Go back to class. Still gazing up to the sky, I wave my hands in front of my eyes. My, slamply, my slightly damp sleeves clung to my skin. So you have an umbrella? That's a pity. A pity, eh? Sounds like you don't intend to help. But why? For how often we're together, did you really think me the sort of person who would help out in such a situation? Well then, I will take my leave. You'll be late as well if you don't hurry, Mr. Yoinara. Huh, the music doesn't sound too loud. What a bitch. Paying no mind to me standing there, Tina left with a leisurely gait. Yep, that's just how he, she is. I guess I'll wait a little longer. Worst case, I'll go and get soaked. Increasingly filled with resignation, as the sounds of rain only got louder, I let out a sigh. And then two steps of rain, foot, and then two steps of footsteps broke through that sound, heading my way. Mister, that's a guy. Mister. Hmm? You mean me? Mister! Mister? Oh, it's Misty, alright. What you doing, mister? I didn't bring an umbrella, so I can't go to school. I'm stuck. Are you kids lost? We're not lost, right? Right? Nope. Then what are you up to on this dreary morning? Mister! Not the best conversation I've ever had. Besides, I needed to hurry, or I'd be, or I'd be late to class. Mister! Sorry, but I'm in a hurry. Hold up here and keep out of the rain. It should help your parents to find you. It is still raining, but it's gotten better than before. May just have to put up with getting wet. Fussing children spit all into the rain raindrops that feel harder and harder. I don't want to deal with this nuisance. <laughs> Jeez. Calling those kids nuisances? Ah, where are you going? Miri's going too. Don't follow me! Goddamn kids.
<sighs> I want to give a slip to the two cheesy children that arrive at school. I'm always with those kids. So you just left them out in the rain? Oi, Yoichan. Morning. Good morning, Mr. Yoinara. Ah, Roku Ruler Zero. What a name! Morning. You kinda look like an overwalk. Overworked mob today, teach. It has been raining a lot. No umbrella. It wasn't raining when I left. That's why you gotta check the TV. True. Well, it'll dry soon at any rate. Come on, get back to the classroom. Right, right. First period. Math. Ugh. Not the best at teaching, but I thought Vaughn was for mathematics. I hate math. These buildings were old. To put it nicely, they had character. To put it neatly, they were falling apart. On rainy days especially, there are often places that leaked. We didn't have many teachers nor students. I taught a class of second years, but there's only there's effectively only one class per grade. Hmm. Though naturally, separate teachers were needed for supplementary supplementary subjects like art. Yes, I'll get going. I feel like those two those two kids are important to the stories at all. Riri and her brother, right? Maybe they're Ayakashi. Maybe they wanna die. I don't know. Or maybe they're abused and they want their revenge or something, I don't know. Huh. It's taking a bit long. Mr. Yoinana, what are we doing today? At the end of each month at Yosei, Yusei Junior High, 5th and 6th period was a designated free period decided upon by the teacher and students. You could have an ethics lesson or give time for self-study or teach test taking skills, all sorts of things. Sometimes we even play cards. To be honest, the principal tended to be accepting of anything. Maybe this kind of thing is only possible because it's, under, it's an underpopulated rural, rural school. Where is this school? So what will it be today? What should we do? Let's play cards. Oh, fucking, I guess. Seriously, is there anything else? Well, at our school, games such as Othello and the like are common for small groups. Oh, that reminds me! I saw something in a magazine earlier. Ah, uh, giant pancakes. Those look delicious. Hey, those are the ones Mac me Makimaki was eating. Yeah, they sure looked yummy. Hmm, I'm interested too. Woo! Come over here! Oh my god, there's so many students. La or Ia or Ya How do you say that? Is that just LA? I A Sheesh. They're so immature to be infatuated with pie cakes at their age. Yeah, I prefer fried chicken. You should lay off the fried food too. Hey. Hmm. So hey, Rico, can I have a teach me today? Your grades seem fine to me, Koruta. I mean, I know you periodically get to her, Rico. You should teach me, Luke, then! Ah, uh, you surprised me! Considering your lack of will to learn, I don't exactly get the urge to teach you. You mean those really to learn? But words are hard. <laughs> How do you even live among society? What a dickhead! Fine then, I'll teach you both. Come on. Woohoo! You look like Midori. Yay! 
<laughs> in addition to the pancake crew, there's another group gathering around Riku for tutoring. Seems like a truly shooting dish that has nothing more than free time. Yoi chan, you bored? Not bored. Got the job of watching you guys. But just watching is bored, right? Look, I told you. Wanna play a werewolf? Werewolf? Allow me to explain. Whoa! Sassana. First, the players are randomly handed out rolls on cards. The basic roles are villager, werewolf, and seer. Seers and villagers are in the villager camp, while werewolves are in the werewolf camp. Villagers have no abilities. Seers can, at night, define whether someone is a werewolf or a villager. And werewolves can eat anyone who's not on their side. During the day, everyone talks it out to determine who's a werewolf. If those in the werewolf camp can hide their identities and wipe out the villagers via executions or devourment, they win. And the villagers' camp wins if they identify the werewolves and execute them. So if you're a werewolf, you gotta, you gotta just see people survive, got it? Sounds pretty difficult. You'll pick it up as you play. Normally, it spans several days, but let us adopt one night werewolf rules to play for this one day. What it goes in jail. Since night only comes once, you must definitely hang the werewolf in one day before nightfall. To be frank, it's quite, quite different from normal werewolf, but we have precious few people, so oh well. Being either sleep or eating in a single day sounds brutal. Hey, it's just that kind of game. Seems this one's caught on. Seems this one's caught on lately. There are all sorts of games out there these days. As for participants, I have Sir Rokuru, Sir Zero, and Mr. Yorinata. And how about you two? Hi, would you be alright with me? I should be a death at this game, judging from your explanation. I don't need to play, do I? Well now, this game is more fun the more people you have. Aren't you lonely all by yourself? Who's all by herself? If you're asking for a fight, I'll give it to you. She must so suspect susceptible to agitation. Under the one night rules, two rolls will be added on top of the ones I gave before. First, the thief. They can trade cards with any one person. However, they won't know what that person's role is in that in advance. Second, the psycho. In the werewolf camp, yet the seer sees them as a villager, a real troublesome fellow. However, the werewolf doesn't know who the who's the psycho, and the psycho doesn't know who's the werewolf. Since this is one night werewolf, the seer will be able to divine that the psycho is a psycho. In fact, the seer is able to divine anyone's exact roles. But still. The werewolf doesn't know who's the psycho, and the psycho doesn't know who's the werewolf. Jesus Christ, what is this explanation? So much shit to remember. Actually, there are other rules that form a third camp, but it'll get rather complicated, so perhaps we can stick them in one to even how to play. I wrote some notes on the rules, so make use of them. Tremendously thoughtful. Lastly, in One Night Werewolf, there are two extra cards in the deck. The leftovers remain in the face down state. Only the seer can know what's on these cards, or the thief, they steal a face down card. Uh, but of course, should they pick one of these, they can't divide the role of another player. A bit, I'm a bit fuzzy on it, on it still, but I believe I follow. The ultimate divination division of cards will be two villagers, two seers, two werewolves, a thief, and a psycho. Eight cards in total. Now, let's play around. The pros of Roku and the others, I ended up playing more with card rolls and then one will pass out to each of us face down. Now then everyone, check your roll. Do it with protective prudence so the person beside you can't sneak a peek. How utterly regular. That might make it easier to see the score that see the score than if I had a special one. Next, the worlds will confirm who their allies are and the binding and theming may take place. Everyone put your heads down on your desk. Usually the action phases come to an end. Upon assessing the signal, everyone can and lead through their heads. Well then, now begins daytime. Keep saying it's like, my role is this, I'm trying to guess the werewolves. Who could the villainous, villainous werewolves of this world be? Since we have novices playing, let's give 10 minutes for the discussion. So, can I say something? Yes, go ahead. I'm Kashima Akebano, Monsieur. 
and used divination on Professor Yorinata. He was a villager. <laughs> That's correct. Oh, really? What? You calling me a liar? Whoa, don't shout so much. What are you, a crow? Who are you calling a crow? More importantly, I'm wondering if there's any other seers. Oh. Huh? I'm the seer. Uh, I am um, also a seer, though. Oh, <laughs> well, there are two seers in the deck. Such a t so such a turn of events is possible. Maybe you use divination on Zero. Um, about that, it's you, Akimono. You came up as a seer. As a seer. Well, now that doesn't exactly inspire confidence. Um, so, does Akimono say she's a seer, and I saying the same not make it certain? If it take you at your pure, then that be true. But look at the big picture. It's easy pieces to make that claim right after Kashima Chan, -chan, -chan, -chan said she was a seer. Yes, yes, that's true. Well, consider, Rokuro. Am I right or am I right? No, no, Zero. No, no, no. Zero, if you're really a seer, be a little more tenacious. Who knows? Maybe a third seer was up will show up. Will it now? Each planet followed Kashima's agitated remark. It seems. Kashima and Zero are the only ones claiming to be seers. To be honest, looking at the face down cards would have made it easier for to compare, confirm what roles are in play. Kashima chan, Zero, I guess you both were just too dumb to arrive at that, that idea, huh? Wow, what an asshole. <laughs> Whoa now, steady yourself, calm down, take deep breaths, and save your game. Yeah, come on. It's just a game. Sir Rokuro, I'd like to I'd like to ask you to choose your worlds more carefully. And see so acting like a novice teasing sister in law. Well, <laughs> I could kinda guess from your reactions. Sheesh, this guy. This guy? If I may interject. Oh, no, don't tell me. A third seer? No no. I am a thief. Oh! I'm a traitor for one of the face down cards. Resulting in the role of villager. I see. In short, if La Lady Tina can be believed, there is definitely at least one werewolf in the village. That is correct. <laughs> you would say that. Is there something that offends you? Sure is. It's making my guts boil. Cause <laughs> the real thief is me. Fucking Sohiori over here. Sin Tsukimi. Oh my. I swapped the Susanna Chan. A Susanna Chan was a villager. So, from my point of view, it's pretty darn likely Tina Chan was the wolves. Though, who can say if she's a psycho or a werewolf specifically? So, I see. Well, from my point of view, I believe Madame Susanna, the only one who has not stated her role or indicated another, is quite likely a werewolf. And the one who raised his voice to protect her is a psycho. That is what I would say. Roku, a werewolf? Is Brokuru a werewolf? Nope, the thief. I see, so you're on my side. Zero, come on. <laughs> so this is a rather tricky one. You're looking at the your cheat sheet over there? Who should I believe? Well, one night werewolf never provides much definitive info, which is what makes it tricky, but... We have four players making statements concerning their own worlds. Lady Kashima, a seer, Sir, Sir Zero, a second seer, Lady Tina, thief, and Sir Roku, a second thief. Regarding the seers, there are two in the deck, so it is possible for two to exist. But only one thief card exists, so one of the two is certainly lying. And through divination and thefts, we got the statements about three people on one of the face down cards. Kasumi Chan, Divine, Yoi Chan was villager. And Zero Chan divided ca Divine Kashima Chan was a seer. Tina Chan stole a face down villager card, and I stole Sesame Chan's villager card. So the two whose roles haven't been corroborated are Zero and Tina Chan. Was I not the seer? If you really are a seer, you should believe in yourself a little more, okay? Got it. I'm a seer. Well, it will time to vote soon. If there's anything you want to ask, do it soon. Story, but 
Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Maybe it sometimes result in a bad outcome. Yay. I am a seer. I divine Akebano's role to be seer. Why did I choose her? No special reason. I had to say, maybe because her seat was right in front of me. <sighs> maybe your offer was right. I'm looking at a face down car would have been better. Would have been better. You'll just have to make use of that knowledge the next time you play. Right you are. So as such, since Akebono said she's invited you to be a villager, you're about the only other one I could trust. Or basically in the same boat. I'm the thief. I traded with Sisena Chan, who was a villager. Why did I choose Sisena Chan? Easy. I felt bad for it because I didn't think anybody would pick her. What a thing to say. The more unknowns you can clear up, the easier it is, right? And yet you berated Kasuma and Zero for not looking at the face down cards? Uh, I mean, that is... You don't have to believe Kashima chan but believe me, okay? That's a little too convenient. You can interpret it however you like, alright, Yoicha? Now, how to interpret this game board? Well, ask as you wish, all I can reply is that I'm a villager. Strictly speaking, if you trust Sir Rokuru to prefer me as a villager, then Lady Tina is either the psycho or a werewolf. The psycho? I mean, there's no werewolf. What happens then? In that case, there being no werewolf in the villains means the psycho is not tempted by werewolf, and joins the villager camp. This is referred to as a peaceful village, a village in which there is no werewolf to begin with. And if only, if everyone votes the person to the right, it distributes the vote to mean no execution, which is an option you need to take in that event. I get it. I don't know something good there. Um... How can I choose you? Oh. Huh. I invite Mr. Yo in order to be a villager. Huh? Why did I choose you? You're right. It's true I didn't think about checking Roku or someone like that. But I feel like it might be able to look for other allies. I realize that Roku is an enemy. Of course he is, bro. He's acting like Shin Tsuki. There's a possibility he is, isn't there? Just look at it. If you believe Tina is a real thief, Roku is either that psycho or a werewolf. I suppose you're inclined to think Tino's a real thief. He called me an idiot! Uh, I'll never forgive him. She sure holds a grudge. Yep, sure do. I am a thief and traded for a face down card, which was villager. To paraphrase Sir Roku, I believe that looking at a face down card will make it simpler to determine the distribution of roles. To restate my earlier point, my perspective that Sir Roku's antagonism is quite suspect. Furthermore, I suppose a trade partner being Susanna Chan casts a suspicion, a suspicion of her being in the werewolf camp. It is my personal opinion that there is very likely a single werewolf. Trevor, however, is deciding which of them is a werewolf. There's no point in hanging the psycho. Wait, this is not a werewolf. I suppose that you're actually the psycho. In that case, there are higher odds of there being no werewolf here. <laughs> if everyone's supposed to vote by, by voting for the person to the right, there'd be no execution. And if everyone's a villager, everyone wins. It's known as a peaceful village, apparently. Ah, I was not aware of that. Well then, allow me to think for a bit. <laughs> right. Whoa, who's the one with pink hair? Sick! Oh, it's Ian. La, or whatever. Crude and aggressive, but honest at heart. Maybe. Always sleepy. Often sleeps during class. Watch out. Average, but a high average. He's a nice kid. Not nice to me. Has a rather good personality. A cult fanatic. Someone talks. Some sometimes talks too fast to follow. Often out for soberness, but good test scores. Knock you. Huh. 
dynamic and stands out. You're not poorly behaved. Maybe a tad bit too overconfident. Mystery upon mystery. Smells like a forest. Why? Hard to read his emotion, but he seems mysterious. Likes autos. Skips rampantly to attend the concerts. Tends to cause trouble. Requires special attention. Yamakagashi. What a nice name, dude. Holy. Rolls right off the tongue. So I bet that'll have some effect. Let's see. Well then, we're just about out of time, so... Does anyone want to say anything more? Pardon me. Might I be permitted to say two or three things? Oh? First of all, I'm afraid I lied earlier. For that, I apologize. I am not the thief, but the psycho. Say again. And thus, the real thief is Sir Welku, and Madame Senna, with whom he traded, is a true villager. I would air my desire that we chose the option of a peaceful village. Incidentally, a peaceful village means the face down cars are both werewolves, so there are no werewolves in the village. In this case, the absence of werewolves means the psycho goes to the villager camp. And if everyone chooses to vote for the person to the right, the vote is rendered meaningless, and everyone opts for peace. Hmm, I get it. This doesn't erase the possibility that Tina Chan is a werewolf, not a psycho. That is correct, yes. As such, no less depends on that trust you place in me. This has gotten complicated. Nah, it's simple, right? Either we believe Tina Chan or don't. If you believe her, go to your right. Don't vote for Tina Chan. You see. Alright, time is up, so please place your votes. On the count of three, one at the one you wish to vote for. Peace and thank you. What? Susanna to my right. Who should I vote for? Susanna. One, two, three. Oh, well now. Everyone has chosen peace. Now we'll reveal the cards all at once. Was this the correct answer? Please count cards for both wolves. Yay! Meaning there's never a werewolf, and we chose right. I was not aware of it before, but this is quite a fun game. It's tense wondering what role you'll get. I think I've done now. I'll try to do better next time. Feels like it'd be a pain if Roku and Tina had to be warriors. <laughs> Which is dumber than me is all. <laughs> this guy. Ahem. <laughs> Ooh, scary, scary. Heaven help me. Kashima, don't get so emotional that you lose sight of your surroundings. Ugh. You have a point. I lost control of myself. Of course, Roku, you shouldn't be so provoking either. I'm just telling the truth, okay? That's exactly what I'm talking about. Besides, perhaps we get the better crazy. That's right. But I'm better at this game, aren't I? Mm. Why aren't you saying anything, Mr. Yorinara? Well, well, well. Now that we've gotten the mood, let's go for round two. Oh my. As expected, the game is so closely resembled psychological warfare, we two are adept. Your compliment on. The compliment honors me. Sure, it's not just these guys are all there. Sure, it's not just that all these guys are just so easy to read. It's impressive how you can lie without hesitation, well, Guru. That's just the game, man. I don't normally lie, do I? Yes, I suppose so. Kashima's very upset. Cheer up, Kashima chap. You got a good conscience. You're just obvious, see? <sighs> That's not true. I'm equally unable to read the movements of Mr. Yoinata myself. Oh yeah? Huh. Professor Yoinata is unlike Sir Roku and Lady Hina. He just, well, unintentionally exudes an unreadable atmosphere, perhaps? But I posit that in truth, he isn't especially thinking anything. What a dickhead! Did something happen in your past so you lost your emotions or something? What kind of person do you think I am? Time to go home, everybody! Ah, perfect time. Alright, go back to your seats. 
of that, the students returned to their seats one after another. Some of them sprinted over, while others returned with reluctant looks. After that, the class began moving the desks to the sides of the room for cleaning. That was nice. Whew, all done. I wonder if it'll rain on the way home. It doesn't smell like rain, so Mino thinks it won't. Oh, Mino's a good girl. She is. Remotely. Yikes! Why do you look like you've had the soul sucked out of you? <laughs> English is still tough for you, isn't it, Mino Chow? Gotta be Japanese, the curvy kind. Well, this is Japan after all. You can get by with just hiragana. Oh, if Lao says so, it must be true. <sighs> Might have to think of simpler approaches even Mina can understand. Ah, by the way, are you coming to school tomorrow, Naki? I can attend until tomorrow. Next week, I'll be off doing work again. Ah, I see. The world of showbiz is, showbiz is rough, huh? If it was idols, I'd know all the details. What's your stage name again? Oh, well, I act pretty differently from how I normally So it might be better if you don't know. Huh? What? Do you like acting plays? <laughs> sure, I've done jobs like that before. Well, I can't imagine. So, is there anything? Is there something about tomorrow? Since it's Friday, we were talking about the guys at the class hanging out together. Huh? Is it okay if I come too? Hmm? Why not? After all, we hardly ever get to hang out with you. I see. And then I'd be glad to go. Oh, he's blushing. <laughs> Whoa! Naki Chan's coming. Nice. The doors would be nice. It's stuffy inside. But I'd sure like to go to a candy store or something. Giving your all even to play. That's the way of men. Whoa. The boys sounds like they're having sounds like they're having a fun talk. Good for them. No girls allowed. This is a cootie free zone. So mean. Well, fine. We'll get together tomorrow and do something too. Mino will come with. Mino will come with. I'd rather go home and sleep. What if we went on and ate sweets? I'll go. <laughs> Hmm. I do not have plans, so I'm able to go as well. I haven't any special problem with that either. Ooh, sounds good. Kashmi-chan, you're going too, right? Sure. <laughs> oh, just as just as I was fearing you might rebook us as a class president. Do I take a rather cheerful, cheerful expression? Nope. <laughs> Let's all go together, girls. I won't stop you from having fun. Don't go and do anything weird or playing around past the dark. Huh? Like that's possible. Time flies when you're having fun. I'll go on patrol outside and arrest you if I see you. What? Yikes. It's hard to tell if you're serious or joking sometimes, Mr. Yoinara. Goodbye for now, Professor. Goodbye. Yes, goodbye. What a nice class. As if they had never been tired from being at all. Students went trotting home with cheerful guides, stage, whatever. Once I finish up here, I should get home quickly. What an interesting game! Yeesh. You just left the school. It was beginning to drizzle. Better than this morning. Hope it doesn't get worse before I get home. Mister! Hmm? Mister! Oh, kids from this morning. What is it, you two? She is she on. Nearly as nearly. Ugh. What's wrong, mister? No, no, it's nothing. So what do you want? I want to be with you, mister. Take us with you, mister. No, can't do that. People would call that as a kidnapping. Where are you kids from? Where are your parents? Mister! What are you talking about? Why are you... What, are you talking about me? And your strange uncle or anything. Not in any rare... Not in any relationship. Much less married. Mister! Are you there asking the questions? I'd rather just want to say Mister. Oh my god, it's so loud! My ears! So, look, you do. Huh? Did they run off? I know that to myself then, ran along the road home.
I sat on the bedside of a woman, sleeping face up. I'm going to die, the woman whispered quietly. Stop it. I'm sure they'll come for me. Even if it takes decades, centuries, millennia, more than then, more than that even. Isn't this enough? So please, wait for me. Just... Yikes. Oh. Sweet. Not only covered my brow, but dampening my sweatshirt, my dress shirt, making it clean for my skin. <sighs> Still not morning? Seems I had fallen on the sleep like a pile of bricks as soon as I got home. My pulse was still rapid. <sighs> still not morning. I looked at the clock. It was still 4 a.m. I questioned whether I should sleep since I had school tomorrow. I knew I had to sleep, but I don't want to have that dream. Those feelings took precedence. I haven't had that dream in years. It's been a while since I did this, but maybe I'll sit and wait it out. I leaned my back against the wall, taking a not especially comfortable position so I wouldn't accidentally fall asleep. I waited for the night to end like that, hearing only the noise of insects. This is really sad, dude. I feel bad for you, Yorinara. And then he fell asleep anyway or something. It's morning. That's why I knew it, the night had gone. It did occur to me, but his approach isn't good for the back at my age. Youch. I was decently proud of my sturdiness, but seeing that too had become a past glory. I do sit down a lot with my teacher as a, my duties as a teacher too. I better get ready soon. Huh? What was that? Probably has to do with my lack of sleep. I have to. I'd have to show myself out and sleep properly tonight. Can't put too much burden on my body, and so my aching back at me. Morning. Huh? And students. Actually, even students from other classes were gathered outside the classroom. Some were disconcerted. Some were having whispered discussions. Some were openly weeping. But all of their gazes were fixed on what was inside the classroom. Yo chan. Yo kiss. La broke through the solid crowd of students to approach me. Her breathing was extremely relaxed, erratic. Without even stopping to let me acknowledge her, she grabbed my arm and pulled me along. There I saw Lu Yuki laying down with her head in Tashima's lap. Yuki, hey Yuki, what's the matter? Yuki? But she didn't respond. I do have graphic content on, right? And whether she was breathing. Looks like she just fainted. Have you called an ambulance? Ah, that's right, an ambulance! No, it's fine. You can calm down first, Kashima. I'll make the call. As I stood up, I saw into the classroom. There. Oh, who? Oh my god! Oh my, what the? F who died? Hello? Do you have an emergency? Is there a fire? Hello? No, you're not a... The sound grew distant. All sounds were overtaken by the sound of my heartbeat. OW! My senses were stirring with a start. This was... What's going on here? I appeared to be under the, under, under the overhang of a tea house taking shelter from the rain. I had a strange uneasiness, and it seemed it refused to settle, instead growing larger and larger. Unable to bear it, I took off running without regard for the rain that beat against the ground. Bro, how can you kill Rokuru like that? Morning, Yoichan. Whoa. So, Yoinara, you're, so you're soaking wet. You're alive? What's the deal, Yoichan? This rain splash up so hard, it hit you upside the head. It's not healthy to make yourself chilly. Was it just a dream? Uh, it's nothing. I'm sorry to do that all of a sudden. 
<laughs> Weirdo. I saw the two of them off to the classroom and then headed to the staff room to get some spare clothes. I have got these here. Since I always get my clothes dirty catching wild dogs and trespassing and whatnot. Huh? Ah! Kashima's standing outside the door to the staff room. Her eyes seem filled with fear. What's up, Kashima? Mr. Yori and Hara. Uh, it's nothing. She probably also remembers, right? That's why she was so freaked out. For I knew it, it was first period. I observed the students' behavior, and most of them didn't seem concerned about anything. However, Kashima alone was giving up a restless air. Which period is Friday is English, right? Hello. Yo chan, today's Thursday, isn't it? So it's math, right? That's right! No English today, so Mina Mino didn't bring her textbook. Thursday. Yo chan! What? Do you need something? Hmm, huh, just wanted to ask Yo chan. I was dead here, wasn't I? Don't tell me that was the first fucking chapter. Dude, you don't tell me. Chile or Iran or something, I don't know. Please don't be the first chapter. Okay, Rook Rules words made my throat tighten. At the same time, I felt like the other students were especially stiffen as well. You were dead. You mean hung? Yeah, that. What's the meaning of this? I mean, it's exactly it means exactly what I said. No way. That wasn't a dream. Don't tell me you saw it too. Huh? Everybody had the same dream? I woke up in front of flowers. So I thought I'd nod it off. Roku, cool. weren't you saying it was possibly just a dream too? I mean, obviously we wouldn't be having class otherwise, right? Besides, the students and teachers in the other classes didn't seem to know. But yo chan you seem like you might. You found my actions this morning curious too, didn't you? Look, leaving your teach in the morning and him doing that all of a sudden is surprising stuff, right? Doing what? What'd you do to Roku? Uh, not for that. For now, we we'll had a dream of let's see if Roku was having corpse. Everyone? What's going on? All of us sleeping? This is an occult phenomenon indeed. First, I want to hear from everyone one by one. I'll have you come out into the hall in seating order. Start with your seat number and name. And if you know of anything unusual or curious that's happened lately, tell me. What's the intent? What's the intent of that? There's no question that there's a strange phenomenon coming on, and I see some of you are feeling quite anxious. So my goal is to both graph the situation and provide counseling, I suppose. Make sure to come in order, starting from the left front left seat. Understood. What a weird fucking dream. Tina, your eater program. Seat number four. Anything unusual? Let us see. There have been rumors amongst the girls as of late. Some say they hear strange voices. Strange voices? Like what? Hmm, well, it's not as if I've heard them myself. Inquire with La, if you please. So, huh? 
return to the home. But her thinking in itself was sound. Her unbending nature made it common for her to class with other people, which was a bit concerning. It was a very strange occurrence for this class and known to all have the same dream. Hopefully it is a dream. Alright, we can go. Pardon me. Scene number two, Yuki Yutashiro. I'm sleepy. That's nothing new. You're our first witness, Yuki. I'm part of the campus cleanup committee, so I woke up early to water the flowers in the classroom. And then I fainted as soon as I saw it. And I avoid your massive test. Or if she did work, good work for the cleanup committee every morning, so I didn't think she lacked diligence, even if she nodded off in class. Not every day you see a corpse. It's alright. Get some rest. Okay. I'm sure it was just a dream. Yeah. Don't, don't feel like I slept at all. We are technically in class, so don't sleep now. Aww. She was all sent to Kong Kong, huh? Scene number seven. La Shishibe. Hey ya. Tina told me of her strange voices. Strange voices? Oh yeah, I did. Kind of <laughs> kind of like moaning. Moaning. Sort of like that. I felt like growling myself. Yeah, that's the ticket. But didn't behave badly or anything. I call her a lighthearted student. But occasionally she'd be too lighthearted and I have that taken advantage of. Well, well, I don't know if that has anything to do with this, though. So. Right now, I just want to hear what everyone has to say. Alright, you're done. Righty tooty. Righty tooty. What the fuck? It's righty lefty. Righty tidy. Cash me, Akibano. Seat number one. No need to strain your voice so much. I am the class president, so I feel it's only expression of my title. So, something unusual? I can't really say I know anything. You don't even count Roku dying, honestly. Not even a person's death. Look, you just plain expect him to get murdered, right? Even, was a ma even if it was a mass dream. Well, I do expect he'd earn grudges. There's been countless times I might have gone through with my emergency intent, if not for the laws of this land. That's right. Like, he doesn't earn it with the things he does. I prepare if you weren't a, if you were, if you were a simple skirt flipper, honestly. Fine with skirt flipping? Why not? It's just fabric. Or accurately, she played by her own bizarre roles. Sometimes she'd make dangerous sounding procl proclamations too. There had been indeed times she nearly won <laughs> she nearly won fist fly. She had a tendency to let her feelings overcome her a bit too often. Despite how she fought, her eyes worried quite a bit, likely due to her over diligent personality. If there wanted to be a strange dream, she might have been the one most disturbed by this incident. Well, okay. Don't overdo it. We can go now. Excuse me. Hey, Yo-chan. I am Sasuna Kano. Sasuna Kano. Scene number five. Ha <laughs> ha! The guy within me is speaking. They say things have been much too peaceful thus far. In other words, you yourself have nothing to know besides this incident. Jumping Jalabi Jackpot? What the heck does that mean? Why, just what it sounds like. Why she make it face like it's only natural, I understand it. Well, I believe it to be a bad dream, but... She surely loved the occult. Sometimes bring up spiritual matters, often making me unsure how to react. The phrases she used tended to get oddly stuck in my memories. In fact, I almost said them myself sometimes. Okay. Okay, you can go now. Right, oh, regarded rigatoni. What the fuck? Just go, please. You know, Naridate. Um, seat number nine. Yep. Something strange. Hmm. <laughs> Is Tichi. <laughs> Is Tichi really a virgin? Who told you that? La! Her, huh? The answer's no. Ooh, I see. So, what's a virgin? That's where we're headed, huh? Oh, well. Nothing from you then. Is it something you eat? You're not exactly wrong. Got it! She don't got it. Nina <laughs> was as large kind of as law. Or rather, she was basically floating. Wow, would probably be the ideal word to describe Nino. She's so cute! 
She's kind of like Kana, much like a frail child. Her physical abilities were extremely high. She mostly flunked outside of PE. Alright, go back to your seat now. Gotcha! She's so cute, bro. Scene number six, Naki Kokuriko. Let's see, I don't think I know anything. I haven't come to school in a while. Right, you can only occasionally come to school due to your performing work. Yeah. No helping that. Well, I mean, I think it was a dream. It's just all kinds of strange. Active in an entertainment group from a young age, and seemed fairly popular, so he can only sometimes come to school. Even so, he was an excellent student with who got above average test scores. His lack of attendance made it hard to show that on a report card, though. He apparently uses stage name, but I'd never seen Naki on TV. Even though, according to him, he appeared pretty regularly. So right when you arrived, disaster struck. Who put it like that, Mr. Yoinada? I'm a student of class 2 dash 1 2. Yeah, sorry. You can go back now. Don't push yourself too much, Mr. Yoinada. Rokuru Yamagashi. Yamakagashi. Scene number 12. Well, I wanna say anything to say there's been anything too bizarre. It's getting my barn up my body torn up tore up and hung and killed. That's all. You're the only one I want to hear from most. But seriously, that is all I got. Basically, I'm the one who wants to know what happened to me. The most difficult person to deal with the class. Hard and hard just to tell what he was thinking. So Katina and not very cooperative. He was a lot of trouble. If only he were a little more mature. Even you don't know. There's nothing I can do. That's right. You can go for now. I'll ask later if something strikes me. You want to talk to me that badly, Oitan? Not right now, nope. You're free to leave. Rude. Is this your? Scene number eight. Riku Takaso. And what has me curious is how I heard you've been going to the local versus sober shop lately. Pretty much daily, if I hear right. How do you know that? Uh, because I go there too. Karuta likes Abura Soba. I come to think of it, he does. You know, unusual. I'm constantly shaking my head at how you can eat it so often and never get tired of it. Riku was highly self-confident and looked down under the sun. I proved a helpful short. He and Karuta got along well. I did feel their friendship was mostly a result of Karuta and tolerance for giving Riku's attention to you're getting older, Mr. Yoinata, so you should pay more heed to your health sooner or later. Like a dad from Abuda Soba, I'd be pretty happy from that. That Kabuta said something similar. He has ever haunt beyond help. That's all you wanted to ask, you can leave now. Guy, yeah, excuse me. Who was it? You are asking why your teacher goes to an Abuda Soba place? Really? Scene number three, Kabuta Uruwashi. Something strange, huh? Like you eating Abu Soba every day? Riku already mentioned that. Oh, I see. Then I'll ask Riku later. No need to do that. But he had a high average, you might say. He generally gave me the impression that he could truly, truly work anything out. He had a big hearted personality, too. No real fault to speak of. Nothing else in particular? Well, the new so Abu Soba shop they opened in Kanten Bashi is pretty good. That is good info. <laughs> nice. Let's eat there together sometime, Mr. Yoinana. Whoa, look at this guy. Later. You can go back to your seat. Okay. I told my night. See number 11. Anything I miss? Ah, well, I want to take you to Emmy Chan concert. To, um, to an Emmy Chan concert, isn't it? She an idol. Yeah, yeah. You like her too, Mr. Yoina? I just know her name. Ah, uh, what? What a shame. She'll brighten up your life. Anyway, that's why if time really gets rewound, it makes me want to die. I don't like pop idols. Enough to sometimes skip school and go to concert. And that is because of... <laughs> Not to let his grades drop accordingly, but... Social moderation. If... You make your truancy too obvious, there have to be extreme measures. Which is more important to you, Mr. Yoinara? Studying or, li or living? I suggest you live and study. You can go now. Yep. Yep. See 
team number 10, Israel Manzaka. Zanka. Nothing's really been amiss. I grew a little taller. You're, really, you're still growing? How tall are you? 191 centimeters. 6 foot 1? God damn. Huh. That's outrageous. I wonder if this is a dream too. It is right now, I'm sure. Figures. After you were at candidly, I'll be spacing out. Something that had me curious. I thought people picked up fights with him often, even students from other schools. Part of the problem was that he didn't generally turn people down. Considering how often I saw him with Rokuru, I couldn't take my eyes off him for a number of reasons. Alright, we can go now. Right. Ouch. You sure are clumsy. Yes. Zero was the last one. I'll head back to the classroom. Okay, this is the, this is going to be the end of this episode here of Ayakashi Akashi. Holy shit! And this is pretty interesting so far. I'm really liking it, and the characters are really nicely designed too. So. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Ayakashi Akashi. Uh, apparently, this is there's only up to chapter one, and they only finish it after they finish the faceless double. So, if this does finish, if I do finish with the when Ayakashi Akashi does finish, I'm really hope I'm. It's really interesting so far. That's all I can say. So I'm hoping the finished product will make me hook like your turn to die did. But anyways, as I hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, I'll see you guys again later. Bye-bye.